Hey everyone, welcome to this 360 video, quick tip for doing jump turns. We had someone request doing this in a 360 video format, so if you're not used to our 360 videos, this is uh, it's kind of virtual reality. You can uh, move your phone around wherever you want, uh, or uh, if you're on a PC, you'll be able to drag the screen wherever you want as well. Um, so if it's not positioned right, turn around so you're not probably staring at my face right now. Uh, anyways, jump turns, we want to keep it really quick. We had someone ask about these. And uh, so we're in our Komatsu PC210 excavator. Um, just wanted to kind of show you some of the basics on how to do a jump turn. Uh, now, I will tell you up front, I'm not an expert at this. Um, and also, this is not necessarily, there's some dispute on how good this is. I mean, it's probably not great for your tracks to do it all the time, but it is one method to change direction on your tracks without having to, uh, without disturbing the ground too much. So it is something I think it's valuable to learn. So, generally what you want to do is, it's, uh, the move's fairly simple once you get used to it. It's moving your tracks, the direction that you're trying to turn, and then you're going opposite with your swing. Now, one of the good things I learned from the previous also is trying to be off about 45 degrees in the direction you want to go. So have your bucket in the direction you want to go already, and then you're just setting that down flat, and you're just pushing a little bit of downward pressure on there to get your tracks a few inches off the ground. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go opposite with my track paddles there. So I'm gonna push forward my left because I want it to go, I'm trying to go that direction. And then I'm going the opposite direction with my swing. So it looks kind of like this. And generally the best way is do 90 degrees at a time. So if I do 90 degrees that way, my bucket ends up basically off the corner of the other track like that. So if you were to try and do a 360, I'd say the really, the, the best way to do it is doing it uh, 90 degrees at a time, okay? So if I can go back, let's say I want to turn this thing all the way around, 45 here, raise it up, and I'm going to go. Sometimes with my boom, I might push down a little bit more. So you'll see I went over, a little bit over 90 degrees there. Pick that thing up again. I'm going 45 in the direction I want to go. Boom down, and my track opposite. So that was two and then the third, raising it up, going opposite direction, and you'll see my tracks are spinning. Here we go. Okay, so that's a 360 quick tip on how to do a jump turn. Uh, please leave comments below. Hopefully you guys like these format of videos. We'll hopefully you can do more. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.